Hey guys, this is Robert with RecreationalWoodworker.com where we help you build great furniture. And today I am going to be doing an overview of the Starbond Adhesives Super Glue Products. Um, they reached out to me and sent me a free starters kit to review and give my thoughts over. Um, so I'll tell you more about that in a second. So this is a, I guess, a sponsored post. Um, but we're going to see how it works together. Today I'm going to demonstrate it on this cherry tabletop. I've been working on this cherry dog kennel behind me. We've already got it clear coated. And there's just a few little pock marks, I guess you could call them, in the top of this cherry table. And come over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See right here, I've got like a little divot that got in there somehow. And then over here I have a tiny knot that's got a tiny little split in it. And that's where this product really shines. You can use epoxy to fill in these minor things, but it's gonna take hours and hours and hours to dry. This is dry in, I think like 30 seconds. We have our black medium thick. That's gonna be a solid black finish. We have several clears. And then we have a dark brown that's a little bit translucent. I'm gonna be using the dark brown because if you come over here and look at the cherry wood, especially down at these knots right here, see how those knots are kind of a dark brown? That will help it look more natural whenever we're done with the whole table and it'll look like a knot instead of a, a flaw in the wood. So let's get started and show you how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the brown medium thick for this application. Each box comes with two nozzles a couple of tips and they all reseal so that's super handy right there so I believe that goes on oh this is a micro tip so if you need to get in something super fine with the fine the thin glue that's probably where that comes in so we're gonna do that it opens up we put our lid on and I do need to cut off this tip right here, so I'm gonna go grab some scissors. And so I wanna keep this tip as small as possible, so I'm just gonna cut off really the very edge, and I've got maybe a 1 16th hole right there in the tip. And so the way you use this, come over here to here, the way you use this, you see this flaw I've got right here? And I'm just gonna very carefully, and this is the medium thick, so it's going a little bit slow, fill that in. And the way this works is you use the activator and it will dry it in about 20 seconds. So all you gotta do is spray it. And now we're gonna let that dry and you can see how that's basically turned that flaw into what looks like a knot. And then problem solved. Um, so for this, now that we're done, we have the cap, we're just going to put that back on to seal it. And this is supposed to have a, let's see, 30 month shelf life. And the cool thing that it needs an activator to dry, so it's not going to seize up on you. So as long as you store it like that, it'll be good. Now let's come over here to this knot and we'll put some thin on that and see what happens. Okay, so I was wrong. So this is more for like powdered inlays. Where I think this thin would work good is if you need to make your own wood filler, you could mix it with some sawdust, put it in your gap, spray some activator on it, and boom, you have instant color matched wood fill. We might try that later on on this project. What I'm gonna use now is the medium. It gives me a little bit more runny for this little clear spot over here. All right, now I'm gonna use the clear medium right here in this. Now I could use the black and the brown, but a lot of times the clear, once it goes in, will match this hole just fine. So we're going to just put a little dab in like that. Spray our activator and you can see it's already starting to dry. So we're gonna let that set up for 20, 30 seconds, come back, sand it smooth, and then that little gap will be filled. All right, this is a second tabletop that I'm working on and there's a few little pinholes right here in this top. See those are pitch black. Again, I could use the black filler for that, but I'm gonna save that for other projects where it's more suited. Um, again, I'm using the medium star bond. 
and I'm just going to fill in my little hole right there let it sit and then I've got another little pinhole right here so you can actually see when you come in close a little bubble formed right here so I'm just gonna pop that bubble because what it is there's a hole in there that's filling up and so I'm just gonna pop that bubble out now that bubble's gone same thing over here on this other one there's little tiny holes I'm not adding more I'm just making sure I get those bubbles out of there then just like before spray on our activator you can see the activator evaporates off clean super quick I'm gonna let that dry and then we will um, come in sand it down with some 180 and then I'm ready to clear coat right over the top of that so it makes fixing these minor flaws that are always going to be in your woodwork super easy. So after the star bond is cured, which only takes like 30 seconds, uh, you need to come back with whatever your finished grid of sandpaper is and just sand it down. And you can see now we have a very natural looking imperfection in the wood. And then over here, I already sanded this. I forgot to turn on the camera for that. And that's a little check right there. Again, looks natural. Barely, you can't even tell it was fixed unless you really point it out to you. And so on our other top, you can see right here, we have a gap that we filled. It's dry. Over here, it's dry. We're just going to sand that down now. And there you have it. We've sanded these dots down that's good we'll blow it out wipe this down one last time and now it's ready to finish thank you for watching this quick little overview of the Starbond products and how I'm gonna mostly use them in my shop there are tons of other applications where super glue is super useful in the shop especially with like jigs fixtures sometimes if you just need to hold something in place while your wood glue dries it can be an impromptu clamp it can hold jigs templates to your workpiece that you can later pop off tons of uses and i'll do different videos over those uses right now but today a little cheap inexpensive gap filler to fix small problems in your woodwork before you get to that finishing stage is how i'm mostly going to use it in my shop and so like i told you at the beginning of this video this is a sponsored product they did send me this so far i'm happy to put my name behind it and I try to only recommend products I actually like. And I'm happy to say so far I like it. If that changes, I'll let you know. I do have a discount code for you and there will be in the description below where you can get 10% off your order from starbondadhesives.com and you'll use the promo code RECWOOD. Again, all that's in the description below. So check out Starbond Adhesives and thank you Starbond for sending this to me and we'll see you later. All right, what are you supposed to say? Please like, subscribe, share. No. Okay. So my, my hype man failed us. So like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next week.